to begin building the Dam Buster simulation itself, let's uh, continue on. So go to the web page, uh, University of Brighton uh, Google Pages dot com slash Dam Busters. At the bottom of the page, there are three files. You need to download these into a folder. Uh, onto your W drive, here they are on, on, on my folder and uh, we're going to try and build this we want to have an image of an aircraft uh, the Lancaster bomber moving from left to right um, and the coordinates of the top left hand corner of the image are XP, YP measured from the top left hand corner of the screen so the aircraft might be in a box here, but the position of the box is defined by the top left hand corner. We then have another image for the background um, showing the water and the dam, and then another image uh, for the bomb itself or a circle which you can draw. So we need three parts. Um, so we need to get those three bits. We need a picture of the aircraft, which I've I've already got. Here's my picture of the aircraft. You can see it down here. Its um, uh, dimensions are 500 by 114. And similarly for the background and the bomb. Okay, so I've created these earlier. Three three different images. The background will fill up the whole screen, and the bomb is um, a small one, which I took from a photograph on the internet, uh, 75 by 75. Um, so I've n we've now got the three images. Note notice that all three images here are .png files. A PNG file, uh, you could use a bitmap or a JPEG the, the PNG has got the a big advantage that you can have transparent parts to it um, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, come across that a bit later so so now we've got three images and we've got the same three files from the the starting page so if I just double click on on the dam zero and the same as same as before nothing nothing really happens um, so we need to edit edit that. So let's open it with um, an editor. We now want to try and pull these three images in. At the moment we're not doing that. So So to pull an image in, um, let me see, everything goes inside this script here, nothing goes outside of it, so keep all your typing in between that header and, the, and this footer. So in here, let's make, um, let's put an image in, let's do the background first, let's call it background. Okay, so I've got uh, var background equals new image, bracket, bracket. Notice that the image is capital I. So we're declaring background as a new image. And, and then we say where the image came from. So the source for this background image um, comes from a file called background.png, which is in the same directory. We then do the same again for the other two images. We call it one will be the plane, and the other one can be bomb. Okay, so I've now got uh, three images here: um, the background, we've got the plane image, and we've got the bomb image. So you don't really need to know what this is doing. It's just loading in three images, which will be the same names as the three images that you've got in your same folder. Now let's just quickly draw these images. We've got first we've got the 
black rectangle and a yellow rectangle. Um, should we just c comment those out so they don't do anything? Draw image. And you just do one of them first just to see if it works. Put it at 100. Now, image goes in first. Um, so we should do the plane. Um, yep. And now the, the the x value where it where it at a distance from the top left hand corner of the screen. The y value, how wide do you want it to be? Let's put in three hundred and how high? Uh, don't know, fifty. Just see if it works. So try that. Let's save it and then view it in a browser. And there it is. So it's 100, the top left hand corner of that image is 100 across and, and, the, and it's 100 down. And it's 300 wide and it's 50 high. So that's, that's the first rectangle done. Now the bomb, we need to draw afterwards. Let's just draw, I'll put the... Okay, we've now got three images in here, the background, the plane, the bomb. The background um, starts top left hand corner, zero, zero. Uh, the width is 800, the height is 600. We got that from the original background dimensions are 800 by 600. The plane, um, our image is 500 by 114. The image, as you see, is 500 by 114. That will come out too big. We will have to scale it down. The bomb um, here is um, 75 by 75 and the bar is 75 by 75 so I'm just taking the original images and we'll see how it looks um, scaling is simple we'll do it, do it in a minute but let's just have a quick look at what, it, what this thing looks like so view in browser there we are so we have the plane, the bar and the background image the background image is drawn first so the other two appear on top of it uh, the bomb is too big the plane is too big so you have to scale that down. So the bomb is too big, 75 by 75. It's a square, so we could make it, I don't know, uh, 75, let's make it 25. So divide them both by 3. 25 by 25. And we can halve, halve each of these two for the plane, so make that 250. And what's half of 114? Um, 67. Nope. Um, 57. Try that. Save it. View in browser. Okay, a bit more, a bit better. You might want to reduce that a bit more and reduce that a bit more, but I'll keep it like this just for the just so we can see what's happening. Now we need to get this to get the plane moving. To get the plane moving, we need to uh, rather than having a fixed position for it. 100, 100, we need to have two variables which, uh, if you remember from that other diagram, we'll call XP and YP. So let's just put them in. All variables go up here. Var XP, this is the starting position, call it 0. Var YP, this is how far down from the top. Let's start at 100, and then in the loop here, um, we need to we don't need these two lines anymore. So let's now put in XP equals XP equals XP plus the velocity times the time interval. Um, I've just put a variable in here for velocity. This is the velocity of the plane in the X direction. Velocity of the plane in the X direction, call it, give it 10. Um, and we change these coordinates here. We put XP and YP in. And now you just see if this works. Save it view in browser and the plane starts to move the bomb is not yet attached to the plane so you just need to attach it to the plane okay uh, we've added a few more things here this is the bomb xb yb the velocity of the bomb in the x direction velocity of the bomb in the y direction added another one here i put xb yb in for the bomb here now try and try and work it out so you need to program xb and yb you got to say what it is in here. Try and work out what it is. 